Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Yoka, a live 2D rigger. Today, we'll explore how to make your live 2D model more lively by adjusting the parameters in VTube Studio, helping it better reflect real facial expressions. This tutorial uses an iPhone XR with VTube Studio and vBridger, but these methods can also apply to other devices and tracking systems. First, Ensure that you're satisfied with how the model is performing, as sometimes the issue might not stem from the VTube Studio parameters. If the results aren't ideal after adjustments, I recommend that model users communicate more with their riggers. If you're a rigger, you can revisit the Live 2D Cubism editor to assess how the model is performing. Next, open the model settings in VTube Studio and navigate to the parameters option. Please note that some of the parameters you see now may not have been initially added. If the model is being loaded into VTube Studio for the first time, you will be prompted to auto-configure parameters for that model. The auto setup includes commonly used parameters. But most vBridger parameters and certain special parameters, like mouse tracking, need to be added manually. When adding parameters, it's crucial to ensure that the input face tracking parameter corresponds with the live 2D output parameter. Otherwise, the model may encounter bugs. Additionally, if you have models with the same tracking parameters, you can use the copy setup from another model option to transfer parameters from another model. This method allows you to carry over the results of previous model adjustments, and I highly recommend it for its convenience. Now, I'll demonstrate actions based on the parameter names for different parts, focusing on mouth-related parameters, including the vBridger parameters. First, locate the mouth open parameter. When I open my mouth in an O shape, you can observe the fluctuating values change, indicating that your model is responding to your actions. The input face tracking parameter represents changes in the user's facial expressions, while the Live 2D output parameter indicates how the Live 2D model performs. The upper value represents the maximum, while the lower value is the minimum. By adjusting the maximum value of the input face tracking parameter, you can modify the sensitivity of the capture. For instance, when I open my mouth in an O shape, the input face tracking parameter fluctuates between 0.9 and 1.0. I've set its maximum value to 0.9, meaning my mouth doesn't need to be forced open to reach the maximum output value. This ensures that the user's actions align well with the model's responses. Keep in mind that many users may exaggerate their expressions while adjusting parameters, but in actual use, the mouth movement might not be that extreme. I suggest setting the input face tracking parameter to a smaller value. Using smaller numbers doesn't always yield better results. When I set the maximum of the mouth open input face tracking parameter to 0.2, it changed too quickly, causing the model to appear stiff. Please avoid such settings unless absolutely necessary. Next, let's examine the mouth shrug parameter. I noticed I can only reach a value of 0.4. After adjusting the input face tracking parameter to 0.4, the live 2D output parameter easily reaches its maximum. The two parameters mentioned above fall within the range of 0 to 1. Now, I'll explain the parameters that range from minus 1 to 0 to 1. The default value for these parameters is 0, positioned between minus 1 and 1. When adjusting these parameters, please ensure that the maximum and minimum values are equal positive and negative numbers. If they are set as unequal positive and negative numbers, it will shift the default value. If you want to make this parameter less sensitive to being triggered, you can increase the minimum value of the input face tracking parameter to be greater than 0. This way, the parameter effects will only activate when the user's facial expression reaches a certain threshold. The Limit Range button can create a buffer effect when the parameter rapidly approaches the maximum value. I like to enable the Limit Range for the Face Angle XYZ Output parameter to minimize choppiness. The Smoothing parameter indicates the resistance the input face tracking parameter has when feeding back to the Live 2D Output parameter. The auto blinking and auto breathing buttons should only be activated when necessary. Generally, they should remain off. 
Incorrectly enabling them can lead to a loss of control over those parameters. The adjustment methods for the other parameters remain consistent. Different riggers may have different habits, so it's best to consider the specific context. Once you've adjusted all the parameters, you can start enjoying your model now. If you're unable to achieve optimal settings through parameter adjustments, consider the following points. 1. Adjust the sensitivity in the tracking settings of VTube Studio. If you are using a computer webcam, it is recommended to use NVIDIA Broadcast in the tracking quality settings, requires a compatible graphics card and downloading the DLC, or set it to level 5. 2. Position the camera directly in front of the user as much as possible. 3. Adjust the lighting. Too dim lighting can affect capture accuracy. 4. Check if the camera resolution and frame rate are sufficiently high. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll read and respond carefully. I'd be delighted to assist you. Thanks for watching.